you've never seen these before, these are uh, really cool. These Norton Rapid Strip Disc, they look like a sponge material, but they'll take mill scale right off and paint right off. They're pretty cool. That's a used one. A uh, new one. These are what they look like, brand new. You can also get these in uh, in uh, the uh, 3M roller lock type thing. So this is for that 3M roller lock type thing, but these are off brand, so they don't say it, but them go right in. Right in your die grinder, like this. You can just take that out and put them in. They're really cool. So yesterday we got this sanded, wiped down, and I believe you saw me beating the dent out of this rim a little bit. That was one of these rims. Um, and then my camera died when I was taping them. So we got white snowball tires here that we're going to paint. And we're going to paint this big drum because it's actually 50 degrees in Wisconsin today. So yeah. So I figured I would do my painting today, because we are above 50, and, well, 58 with 34% humidity, that's the dew point, but it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and we're still at that temperature, so I should be able to get my painting done tonight, and then I'll put it in the garage here tonight, and kick the heater on high.
first coat of black paint. Does not look too bad. Nice and shiny. So what I found works really good to paint with as you do this Rust-Oleum self-etching primer, this is in the automotive section, which does a really good job of bonding the metal. And then I just, I do two coats of this right on top of one another almost as the stuff air dries in like two minutes. So you hit one coat, you hit the second coat, let it air dry for about an hour, hour and a half till it's nice and cured. And then I hit it with a coat of just this high performance primer, the gray. And then let that flash off for 30 minutes or so. And then you give it a coat of your high performance, high gloss black. And I'll give this three coats and I'll wait about 30 minutes between each coat. And then I'll let it sit for about 48 hours to fully cure before I go screwing around with it too much. There's our snow we got in Wisconsin. So the snowblower's back on. But I have here a little gift from Ken's Bolt on Hooks. Let's take a look at this. I did cut it open already, but I haven't looked at them yet. So we have some twist lock, this would be a grab hook, and this one would be a twist lock slip hook. So these are different than your normal grab hooks. Um, you can see the big gate or latch there. They're actually spring loaded and they twist out the way and as you can see that little piece on there actually latches in there. So when these things are on and you're hooked into the chain, you ain't coming back off. And same thing, same thing with the slip hook here. We got this big heavy gate. And as you can see how far you need to get that up just to get that unlatched. So they're very, very secure and they're heavy. Now let me go down here. There's your normal slip hook with this little thin little piece of sheet metal that gets bent up and trashed or smashed or ripped off. Well, I don't think you're gonna rip that off or smash it. This one here is a quarter inch, that's why it's smaller. This is a 5 ace, I believe. 
Yeah. No. Five sixteenths. Um, but we'll talk about these. We'll talk about more of these here in a little bit. I'm gonna get a chain rigged up for them, and we're supposed to get a little bit more snow tonight. But once we get done snowing, I'm gonna put the loader back on the tractor, and we're gonna pick this drum up here. And we're gonna find out how much she weighs. Oh, there you go. We just set this down on the floor on some cradle blocks here. I got my bearing blocks on. Um, just took it off the cradle, I painted it on. 
as you've seen in the video, I used uh, Ken's twist lock hooks here and we scaled, scaled that drum. So we have, well, it was 15, uh, 17 pounds of chain here. So what do you think the number I got of the weight of just this drum? Leave your guesses in the comments below. And I will tell you at the beginning of the next video what the weight of this drum is sitting here just like this. Bearing blocks on, sides welded on, big tube. And I'll show you the weight. But thanks for watching. This is the end of this video. This was the painting video. Um, the next video will be me assembling the frame that goes around this video. Oops, stay tuned.